my point is that branding has always been important, guys. And branding is who you attract. You got to define what your avatar looks like and who you want to be having come into your gym. Because there's a sea of people out there. And everybody thinks that there's not anybody out there who's going to watch your gym or whatever. That just means you haven't defined your audience well enough to be able to know how to find them, right? Which Remy can teach you how to do and whatnot. But the, the fact of the matter is, is there are plenty of people out there who want to be healthy, right? Everybody wants to be healthy. You just got to define your audience to figure out who you want to have in there. And that starts with first defining who you are and what you can bring to the table to a person. So branding has always been important for people. And so this Floyd 19 thing, COVID-19, you know, all this crap with Greg Glassman, to me, yes, it's frustrating and I'm not going to speak too much about it. But, but what I will say is that like, if you guys hadn't already thought about your branding, well, first of all, you're a little late to the game. You should have sooner been aware of, promoting health and promoting the things that you love and not just promoting CrossFit by itself. Even if you think CrossFit does all that stuff, still you got to have your own identity within that and, and just let that be a feature of what you bring to the table. Right. And so if you didn't realize that before, if there's anything I could say is please wake up and realize that that's, that's the case now is that you have to be able to help people be healthy in order to stay in business in the fitness industry. And that's what you guys are here for is because you love the fitness industry. You love fitness. You don't just like working out. If that was the case, buy a bunch of stuff and put it in your gym, in your garage, you know, but you love caring about people and helping them, which means that you need to have a structure that allows you to do so. I don't really know where to go from there, but that's my spiel on that, Remy. Yeah. And that was already what we were talking about a year and a half ago, right? Uh, I've yeah. always been saying that, you know, like that you should take care of your own branding You know, micro gym owners who are not uh, CrossFit affiliated, you know, like we have a bunch of uh, gym owners that don't do CrossFit, right? They are like, they have PT stu studios, right? Or just group fitness studios. It's not CrossFit. It's functional training or just, you know, like PT, right? As a micro gym owner, affiliated or not, you should be in charge of your own branding, your own marketing, right? So if you need help with that, of course, we're here to help. I hope that we, uh, we've been able to provide a, a lot of value to you guys today. Thank you so much, uh, Mark, for your insights. Black Lives Matter. Uh, stay strong. Be a leader. And we'll chat soon, guys.